the part that people don't understand about wealth, success, just living a better life, it's a multi-generational journey. People don't realize that. My great-great-grandfather came over from Germany with his wife, with nothing, and they worked basically their entire lives at jobs that sucked so that their kids could have a little bit more of an advantage, which in their case was to like go to the public schools in a decent area and then have a chance to go to college. My grandparents then didn't go to college. They didn't do that, but they joined unions. They went in the military, worked their whole life to send my parents to a little bit of a better school and have a little bit better upbringing, more stability, air conditioner, a TV. And my parents are working their entire lives to make things just a little bit better for me. So it's just, we live in a day and age where everybody wants it all right now. We all want to get rich in 12 months, three years, five years. And when we look at very successful immigrant families, they play a different game. They play a multi-generational game and they're willing to sacrifice and delay gratification to the point where they themselves may never actually get that gratification. They're just going to watch their offspring and their kids and grandkids do that. It's really inspiring to me to think bigger. When you ask what I'm running from, I'm running from taking a step backwards. I look at it as a baseball game. My great grandparents came over to do that first at bat with nothing. They left their kids on first base. They left my parents on second base so that I could be left on third base. And I want to leave my kids a couple steps from home plate and set them up to do more of what they want to do and add a lot of value to other people's lives.